kunechulela izifundo ezengeziwe ukunsiza ukuba niphumelele kwizivivinyo zenu enizozibhala maduzane nje sinothisha abanethulela izifundo zika grade 12 zonke izinsuku kusukela ngomsombuluko kuze kube yisonto zithokozeleni lezi zifundo nisithumelele imbuzo lapho ndinga khona usizo This program is proudly brought to you by Go Digital SA Foundation Itala Edu Platform and Pendugani Full Service High School. This is your English first additional language and I am Ms. Zigalala. Our today's topic is literature and we are looking at our short stories. So I just want us to highlight what is important in each and every short story so that we are able to answer our questions in a way that shows that we have read these stories and we understand what is happening. So we are going to just look at our characterization, our themes and plot as well as the summary for each and every story. We are going to start off with Transforming Moments by Nogu Tzina, El Simshope or Tzina Mshope. So we are going to start with that short story and we are going to just go through our characterization and and then we'll do our summary and themes as well as our plot. So let us start with characterization. We have the narrator, Tzinam Shop, who is narrating her story. And what we know and understand about Tzina is that she lacked self-confidence. And while she was 17 years old, this is when this story took place. And she's emotionally weak at the beginning. Jehovah Sutsi, this is transforming moments. We are referring to this moment that transformed Utina from this young girl who lacks self-confidence, from this young girl who doesn't believe in herself, from this young girl who has low self-esteem, and to being transformed to believing that she can be a she can be a woman praise poet. So after the encounter with the praise poet, she transforms and she loves herself and she believes in herself. She was teased by her schoolmates. She was ugly. Her hair was hard to manage. As I in the story, I used to describe it as dry grass in winter. So, Leo, Leo comparison is her hair was dull and she had knocked knees. She had big feet. In the story, she's not beautiful and she's not really what she thinks she can be. Abanyabandu also think she doesn't look, she doesn't even try to look attractive or beautiful. So again, we have Father Figeni, or oh, Uminista. Uminista is this loving and caring um, vicar, and he takes the narrator to visit his home in Tulu. Ila Apokona introduced Ega Kona Gubani, Kusira, the praise poet Utin. So again, because Utin lacks self confidence, Aga understand it, or she does not really recognize ukuthi italent lakhe lingakanani ufather figeni is the one person who encourages her ukuthi ke akajoyine i choir because when she tried to join the school choir she was kicked out because of her ugly voice and ufather figeni uthi uthi your voice is not ugly but it's resonant and ilapho khona ugcina thi wayiqala ukuzwa the igama elithi resonant and wakuqala wakubona ngazathi Lento lena into ekon. So, ngez katige, be vagashela i family yake. U u u tina, u yak veza futuguti. Father Figeni's wife was beautiful and she really adored her. Uzati, if unkulunkulu had to give it to uba u u tina, no ma, if she were to be asked to go to Funan, she would just say, ufunugu banjangaye, gentle lae mushangakon. Nugushuguti, 
wenga kholelwa kakhulu ekuthenini yena muhle waye kholelwa nje ekuthenini she is ugly and she doesn't even look attractive and ukugu sibona ini sibona when there is this boy from port elizabeth or introduced her in the story okusizwe ukuthi even if asset we am thanda usizwe ugcina uthi ufuna ukufocus encwadini zakhe and some people really find it funny ukuthi umfana omuhle owaziwa as a, a, a star in the rugby team ufuna this ugly girl ongathandeki and abanye bayahleka nje ukuthi it's really funny and omunye othisha bakhe her english teacher also thought it was really funny ukuthi ugcina didn't want usizo or usizo wanted gcina and then we have praise poet usira who is talented and inspirational he is admired by the narrator and many people from the village so when he stood up ukuzosho in kondlo yakhe kwakubonakala ukuthi there is this thing ezanayo and ugcina wayebona abantu ngendlela yokumbuka ngakhona ukuthi lenta zoyenza abantu bayithanda and that's how naye she fell in love with being a poet so sithola ukuthi ke usira is approachable and humble ngoba ngesikhathi ugcina eyakuyena wam wam eh, wamshekha isandla wamqhawula and then we have bulelwa who is a true friend to the narrator and she loves the narrator she supports the narrator and she defends her ngesikhathi esikoleni abantwana bemthiza ngokuthi mubi and she is the narrator's study partner in the story so ge okay, a characterization yet to get see i got a lap of four transforming moments and then let us look at the expo uh, at the structure and plot of the story i must beg a exposition the narrator is introduced as a teenager who lacks confidence and feels very unsure of herself and the most interesting thing in this story is that the influence that the poet has on the narrator after esembonile a performer i praise yakhe ngesikhathi praise i chief lapha yana in zulu and this ugly duckling becomes a beautiful swan and all of a sudden her whole perspective changes from being unsure of herself and lacking self confidence to being confident confident and then we look at the rising action when the narrator meets Sizwe the 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 rugby player who is handsome was described as handsome and they are saying amantu mazana maningi ayimthanda the narrator now frequents the church and run errands she joins the church choir and becomes father figeni's favorite so that's when father figeni takes the narrator to visit his family in zulu we climax if praise poets in gesikhatheke i perform alapayana his language usage usage moves the narrator in such a way that she decides to become a praise poet herself and utini she felt baptized by the encounter ngesikhathi embona lapayana usira performing his poem so we resolution the narrator falls in love with herself and she starts to develop self love she develops positive self esteem and she gains confidence so ke ufile ngazathi she can become a first praise poet noma kuyinto angakaze ayibone yenzeka before so ke uma ngabe sibuka ama themes also please remember in each and every short story oyenzayo take note of the setting njengoba mm-hmm. sisho ukuthi lana kwi transforming moments is setting yakho nese eastern cape but remember kwesinye isikhathi you'll be given an extract and kuzobuzakala ukuthi is setting kuleyo extract not in the whole story for example uma ngathi wasibuka a transforming moments in the beginning the story is set escolen in the boarding school lana ugcina funda khona but bese kuyahanjwa kuyiwa ethulu we she visits father figeni's family ehamba nonkosikazi wakhe so uma befika lapha yana in the village now there is where 
the story takes place is setting ya kona isigu pimanje isi sesulu it's no longer in the school lana utina afunda kona so okay, take notes of is setting umanga bukuguti is story sako siya shift is setting from one place to another uguti when you're given an extract ifundi sise kaashe and ukumbule uzamu kumbule uguti konje where did this take place because ama setting enga is story singenzeka ezinda weni ezi shugeni jenga guyo i transforming moments sina sine part where the story takes place in school and then besas kuba khona nde parts wena i story when the story takes place in zulu so engizama ukukhighlighta lana if bengashongo ku question paper ukuthi i story ku extracts mabe to refer to the extracts ukuthi bese beyashi ukuthi ke where is the setting or what is the setting of the story according to noma in relation to the extract uma kungashiwa ngo kanjalo but kubuzakala i setting ye story wena that's when you are going to say the story takes cape takes place in the eastern cape but uma ngabe bekubuza bet refer to the extract ukuthi ke what is the setting ilapho suzobona khona ukuthi ke okay bakhuluma ngethulu nawo ngoba sibe khuluma ngale phathi lana ukugcina khona ebona ini i praise poet so ama themes also they are very important ne figurative language ukuthi ke ama comparisons lawa asetshenziswayo lapha yana kuma short stories achazwa kanjani you need to understand that uma nje singabuka ama ama themes a transforming moments sine self discovery and self love and ilapho ke ugcina she finds herself and uyajabula ukuthi she has something to do as an confidence kuyo ukuthi uzokwazi ukuyenza and ukuthi ke now eqaleni she considers has, she considers herself as ugly but then later on ke uyabona ukuthi she's not really ugly and sikhuluma ngani nge self love ukuthi now after she finds she finds something that she feels passionate about she begins to accept and love herself and look forward to the future and then sibe nani jealousy ukuthi ke now abangani bakagcina esikoleni they are jealous ukuthi ugcina is intelligent and she's hard working but at the at the same time but but jealous food to guti ukina now uno muntu omtandayo and bo naba kaba nguti bam deserve. Lama remarks about showyo about her clothes and about the way she looks. Acheng is they are jealous of her of ukina as a person. And they are also jealous in his katunari u father figeni em invite her to go to Tulu. Ngoba baze bayamamba they want to know ukuthi uya because well mhlambi akufanelanga ngabe uya anyway and then also sibe ne friendship kuna friendship esibonayo etshengiswa ubulelwa kugcina ukuthi as a friend uyam supporter and uyam defender so beseke ifigurative language yethu ibaleke ngani ngikhulumile lapha nange ngesimili ngesikhathi ngithi ugcina says she used to describe her hair as dry grass in winter bese seyakubuka ukuthi uma sithi that is a simile sisho ngani remember uma ngabe kuyi exam yakho ubuzo ukuthi what figure of speech has been used in this line awukwazi ukuthi wena it's a simile bese uthi because the comparison uses as or like akufuneki lokho sifuna ukwazi ukuthi ugcina compares her hair to dry grass in winter because it is hard to manage and uchani in winter is dull uyabona sifuna ukuchaze comparison ukuthi isetshenziswe kanjani not the definition uma ngabe sithi we have a metaphor and we all know ukuthi ke a metaphor is a comparison lapho khona two things that are normally unrelated are compared to each other but without using as or like we don't want the definition if we want you to identify and explain the figure of switch but sifuna ukuthi usichazele ukuthi ugcina mhlobe when she says she had no knees kungani uchaza kanjani lapho mhlambe it's because her knees were touching each other as she walks ngendlela yokuthini unopet so ke sikhuluma ngezinto ezikanjalo explain the comparison ukuthi kukomperishwe kanjani if we talk about the personification ukuthi ke the winter sun seemed as lazy as we were 
umakutiwa the sun was lazy. Sikulu mungu kutike now we have a personification. But we don't want you to say non-living object is given human characteristics. We want you to explain nungu tige mshampe the speed that ilanga was moving. Because it was just a lazy day the girls were lazy and everything was just slow and we have also an irony a definition of irony irony yes we understand at this point you know what an irony is so we talk about the use of words where the meaning is the opposite of their usual meaning or what is expected to happen. Yet when they want help, they ask for usizulag. And they teased her of ugutige now mubi and amantemazane abafana sorry abamfun. But then now there's this handsome boy abamfunai from the rugby team. Otanda ubulel and there's an irony kulog. Also remember its own ngogama sections mchambe ngabu guguti its own injani ngogama sections ashugene also in the story. And then go through your summary and know story sak. But what is important is that you understand ama characters, good oba ama characters in this story. And yip indi maba ilalayo in the structure and the development of the plot as a story si kubega si zesu figa etunin. That is all for a transforming moment. So now, I guess beg again our second story. Na kwa nafuti si zo kala ndi si begi characterization Besa siya siya pega. Ngeskasa siya nzi characterization. Obviously, yes, nige za ipiro of summary uguti gwenza galani in the story na mathim za kon. Subuga ii nige manje i The Last Breath by Sam Kahiga. O masi pega i The Last Breath. Sinama characters eto. So, ge... And the main character or the protagonist, remember also, sometimes we story in a narrator, no, excuse me, a main character, a main character is also referred to as the protagonist. So, besa guba kwa nuguti, ngez katu kune conflict, mkla mpe kusin ngez katu, the main character has the internal as well as the external conflict. Lama conflict e nao, e internal na le na external. E external, umanga besa spe kuti, ubani loona opigis ana ni narrator la payana in the story. Noma, oku kina kuna this external conflict na ye, sizo besa mbiza ngan loyo, ge antagonist. So, sine protagonist, which is the main character, Besa siba ni antagonist, ogu i karekta, epigi sana ni main karekta. No ma eba ni conflict ni main karekta. So again, in this story, we only have four characters. Si ni main karekta, which is Sam. Sam muge, si bona ni gaye, he loves unconditionally. Gez kati, ee tanda obani, this story. Blind girl o guba nugu Eva. So despite guba blind guga Eva, the narrator still feels guti he wants to marry her. And uzo menzo koska zwake, whether uba buwake approves of the relationship or not. But uzo wenza logo. Besa suba nani, no baba ka Sam, Sam's father. As lazi gika malaki because we are not told in the story. But esik funda yung o baba ka Sam is that he is controlling. Ngeskatu sem efuna ugu study to study music. Ubabuake stood in the way of that. And waza muguti usen usem utuni sevenza epenki. It's not because he wanted to work there, but it's because his father is controlling. Uye no sho guti kuzo gwenza galugut. When Sam falls in love with Eva. This blind girl, Ubaba Wake does not like that. And he's very upset to go see they had to drive all the way to the school. Lana Uiva Afunda Kona. 
to meet her kanti bazohlangana nomuntu o blind mhlambi question ekhona kuba bakasema ukuthi how is eva going to take care of you because siyazi thini ukuthi uma ngabe uthatha umkosikazi uyena okufanele ukuthi azonakekela umyeni wakhe ekhaya not the other way around but in the book mhlambi baba kasem lapha yana ukuthi you taking a blind girl ukuthi azoba nkosikazi wakho noma indlela osho ngayo ukuthi kufuna ukumthatha uzosinakekela kanjani mhlambi thini remember Baba Gasem was also sick. Mhlambe enye izinto that ezazimwarisha ukuthi if usem ethatha onkosikazi ongaboni and bona sebekhulile yena akasekho impilo yakha isekho kahle. Ubani ozomnakekela uma ngabe kukuthi usem uzothatha onkosikazi ongaboni. And then we have Sam's mother. Simbona eba supportive and uya support ama choices umdanaki. When Sam em introduce la uiva esh ukuthi Uyamthand, uma wakhe didn't have a problem with that. Wam support her. And wa wa mthanda ngoba siyabona mhlambe ukuthi nendlela athanda ngayo umyeni wakhe ezama ngayo ukuthi Sam remember ukuthi njengoba oba bakho kukanje wena uthi uthatha into mazane engaboni as your girlfriend noma uzomthatha as your wife. Uba bakho ukanje uyagula and kufanele ukuthi unakekele ama feelings akhe and unakekele impilo yakhe she is accommodative uma kasem and then we have eva she is confident despite her disability ekuthana nene kwakhe no sem uzuyasho lapha nokuthi ufuna ngesikhathi yasho sem ukuthi ufuna ukumshada uyasho ukuthi asilinde until ngibone nakho lokho kutshengisa ukuthi uyakholelwa ekuthenini the kungenzeka ushintshe she is optimistic of receiving her sight ukuthi ke kuzoshintsha lokho ukuthi angabone and she will be able to see the ring and ngempela ke sithola ukuthi in the story kugcina kwenzekile lokho her boyfriend is supportive usem uyam support ngesikhathi ethi ufuna kulinde ukuthi azabone ring uya ku support futhi nalokho so ke uma sibheka now our figurative language sinani ke lapha yana sine metaphor i metaphor ngesikhathi ethini i finished a little savagely so sine metaphor lapho and the narrator refers to his actions as being cruel ngesikhathi ekhulumi nobabu wakhe and then u eva when when she says she's going to get a cornea or she's going to receive a cornea as a donator by someone who's about to cross over even though eh, my 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 shogu sem ukuthi that someone who's about to cross over akaziye ukuthi she is talking about sem's father but as the actor lokho ku story ukuthi the person who donated the cornea was sem's father Ngesikhat ethi kena she's about to receive the cornea from someone who's about to cross over so tola in lap euphemism where she uses polite vague word or phrase that is in place of a harsh or offensive word no matter that a word that can be seen as inappropriate to say so ke uyibeka kahle ukuthi someone who's about to cross over and that is a euphemism also nakhona kubalekile ukwazi understanda ithone ngokwama extracts ozobwanikeziwe a story you, you are given an extract not the whole story in the exam so okay, take note ukuthi kule extracts enikeziwe ithone yakhona injani and then lastly kuyo i the last breath sibuka nje i structure ne setting ukuthi ke this story iyenzeka kuphi and the setting iyenzeka kuphi usem they go to visit the blind girl okuba noku eva his girlfriend and ilapho ke sithola khona ukuthi ubaba kasem wayekwatekanga kanani when they visited eva at school and then it continues at the narrator's home sekhuluma noma wakhe ke ukuthi this is how it went ngesikhathi beyobona u eva so Basically, this book has a structure and the plot. The exposition. At the beginning of the story, the narrator's father is against the narrator's wishes of dating a blind girl, Uban Uiva, and she, he does not approve of the relationship. He is umawa ke enge nanginga ne relationship, but obviously in the beginning, Guti, his father or Sam's father did not approve of their relationship. 
and he always interfered with his son's wishes ngesikhatha ifuna ukufunda yena he wanted him to study something else ngesikhatha sethanda into mazane yena he has his idea of into mazane a right for umtanaki and then we have a rising action now there is this tension between sam and his father when usem etelu baba kokuthi he wants to marry eva there is this tension about corner there is this argument eba khona emotweni when they are driving back home baba ka sam nearly caused an accident because he was so furious ukuthi his son wants to marry a, a blind girl so in a race hands and journey he proposes ku eva although uba baba ka hands and journey engavumelani ne relationship and my sister told you ukuthi his father has lung cancer usaqhubeka ukuthi yena he's going to marry Eva and uma wakho yamcela ukuthi he must be careful how he treats his father because he has lung cancer and he might really die anytime noma ngakusho kanjalo but we know ukuthi ngokwe story uya cool baba wakhe and une lung cancer so ke okay. climax after the narrator's father denies ukuthi ke Eva ashade no same useyashona ke and my shona ilapho ke usem ku climax a discover khona ukuthi his father donated his cornea to Eva so that to Eva can see and ku kamprovela ukuthi kahle kahle yonke lento obaba wakhe beyenziswa yini ukuthi uyamthanda umntanaki and then ku resolution the narrator marries Eva and he sees his father's love through Eva's eyes ngokuthini uma ngabe mbuka he remembers ukuthi it was through his father's love that eva was able to see and it was through his father's love ukuthi hayi ngoba wayi ngamthandela ukuthi ashade no eva but kwaku ukuthi uyafisa ukuthi amshiye umntanakhe esesimeni lana yena ekholela ethini uzobe jabule khona and uzobe na someone ozomnakekela and then uma sibuka ke ama themes next door we have organ donation lapho ubaba ka sam donates his cornea to eva when he dies and now after that eva can live a normal life after receiving the cornea donated to her because the operation was successful so she was able to see this story helps to encourage organ donation by showing how life changing it can be usem is happy with unkosikazi wakhe obonayo and Eva is also happy ukuthi ke now we must donate her yiphi contribution esiyenzayo empilweni zabantu ukuthi zishintshe we have parental interference when Sam wanted to start music his father interfered with that until Usem Uge ended up working at a bank so also ubaba wakhe sambona interfering with the narrator's decision to marry Eva so ufila sengazathi his father prevents him from doing what his heart desires ila pokes bona khona any parental interference and then sibe ne prejudice against people with disabilities eva is blind and she cannot live a normal life so she experiences prejudice when the narrator's father objects to her marriage to his son because she is blind uzwe yash ukuthi you cannot marry her like that okusho ukuthi ni akabathandi sisi kahle you cannot marry her like that just because u eva is disabled akafuna ukuthi ashadwe nombona sengazatha ka deserve ukuthi ashadwe indodana yakhe so sizoma lapho with the last breath and Suzo Kobega with our next short story noma ibaleke ngani figure is the language nokuthi isetshenziswa kanjani our next short story is the doll's house we are just going to start with characterization together with summary so khanganisa because we want to know what the contribution is why character ngayinye in the story eep and is significant kanjani we have kezia banel kezia is kind and obedient she asks her mother for permission to bring the kelvis over to see the doll's house 
But Tegan, just cut M. Tell Omawake, she wants the Kelvis to come and see the doll's house. Omawake refused. Washi Guti, Aga Ngega Gwazu, Gutaba invite. And Iris and Yamawake, Guti, you know, Guti, you're not even allowed to talk to them. Is that the sense of Guti Banga Vunyela to talk to them is that they are poor. Gobe social class, Ang Milanga, Ingani Zabung, Goba Bunaba, right? No, but we upper class, Zikulum and Abandana, Abawi lower class. So it is in Yamawa, but I'm a fool. But the 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 Kelvins to see the doll's house. So she's independent and thoughtful. We decide to go and she ignores Umawa, and then we have we have invite her still to come and see the doll's house. Ngobani, she's kind. And then we have Isabel. Ukezia is the youngest, and then we have Isabel Banel, the eldest. Isabel is bossy and she thinks she knows everything. And she wants to be the first to break about the doll's house. Mark figure la pan is calling. Gutwa babeba basabe group be mele around them. Ngis kats beba klotle la u isabele ba klotle la gutsi how the house looks. So she wanted to be the first one u bachela because we are num dal. And she's a snob. She looks down on people seen as lower class. Isabel, and then we also have their sister Uloti. Uloti, we don't know much about her, but we just know that she's innocent. And then, go on, Ama, in the panels, we still have Mrs. Panel, who is also a snob and she's strict with her children. She expects them to follow her instructions and rules. Maya Tinje and Bakulumisi Ama Kelvis. She doesn't need to explain herself. They do not have to talk to them. And they should never talk to them. And then we also have Aunt Zumfaga and Banel's Aunt Beryl also because she is Mrs. Banel's sister. Aunt Beryl in the years she doesn't like Abandu Abab Abagui lower class nae. Ngezi za soso tini mklampe. Guzo tina gwenze wogutu benga bwona gandu gutu bwona. They belong in the upper class. So she's bossy and cruel. Sibona gefutu the element of being prejudiced. Uguti when she sees ama kelvis la payana. Eva Gashile because Ukezia invited them to see the doll's house. She shoot them out as if they were chickens. This is also a figurative language la for Oguyin, Oguyisimili, Oguyisimili, the way Abba Kosha Ngakon. We have Lil Kelvi, the older sister of Elsie. And what we know about Lil is that she is loving and caring. She is shy and self-conscious. She does not join in when the other girls chat and play at school, choosing instead to stay off to the side with her sister. And yes, Delena mentioned why they were always left out of the circle, Mklambe, because of poverty. And Mklambe, Nakona, Singaba, Play, Mugutibona, they never made any attempt to bend their relationships with other children. But they were always left out of the circle, Mklambe, because of poverty. And Mklambe, Nakona, Singaba, Play, Mugutibona, they never Abazanga bezame ugonza ma relationships no mangit asboni kuvesa in the story gutu kona la nabazama kona ugonza ama relationships na banya bandwana. We also have Elsie Kelvi and the narrator refers to Elsie as our Elsie who is the younger sister of Lil. She is shy, she is quiet and she is mysterious. She rarely speaks not even to her sister. Instead, when she wants to communicate, she tugs on the hem of Little's dress, which she is almost always holding on to. She is also a good listener. And when Isabel was describing the doll's house to them, she remembered when when Aunt Beryl chased them out of the courtyard, she was dazed because she had seen the lamp that Kezia described to her and she, she fell in love with the lamp now when she saw it. She was happy at least but she had seen the lamp. And we have Mrs. Kelvy, their mother, who is a hard working woman who is committed to providing providing for her children. No magatiwa gumele atate i indwangu za matafula and curtains from Lana Sabenza Kona to make sure Gutuba Kangela in Basha. 
uyakwenza lokho and also sithola ukuthi ke lapha yana iya masebe sichazela about the kelvis in the story itim ye poverty iya vela lapha yana uma ngabe ukuthi they were eating out of their paper and when they say elsie wore a pair of boys boots so konke lokho ke sikhombisa ukuthi bebengenakho ngempela okokuthi banawa amandla ukuthi unoma uma wabo akwazi ukubanakekela remember also ukuthi ubabo wabo is in jail according to what people say ukuthi ubabo wabo is in prison so ke enye izinto enze ukuthi Mrs Kelvin kube nzima ukuthi akwazi ukunakekela ingane zakhe even though she is really trying ukuthi azinakekela but akanayo umuntu omsapothayo she is humble and she is loving to her children so uma ngabe sesiqhubeka ke sibheka ukuthi manje i plot ya le story imikanjani look at the exposition when they received the doll's house from mrs hay the girls were so happy and they couldn't wait to show off their doll's house to the other girls in the area ngama ukuthi when they got to school ibona baba tshena especially ukezia ukuthi nabo laba bangamukelekile the kelvis they can come and see the house ngoba basebevele beshiwe ngaphandle knowing ukuthi they are not allowed to go there ngesikhathe babiza futhi ebabona walking beza bezodlula ngasekhaya kubo maye babiza u lc akasholuthu but ulil unakho lokho kuba hesitant ukuthi but we are not allowed to go there why besibiza but then bagcina bengenile we rising action every girl at school wants to come and uh, and to see the doll's house so all girls are welcome except the kelvis girls because they are poor and they are discriminated against because of their social class okuyiyona into evelawo lapha nokuthi i social class iyona nto ebalulekile kuleya community ukuthi ubilonga kuyiphi i class especially abantu abaphuwa akumilanga ukuthi babonakale be associate nabantu abaku upper class isibonelo nje salokho when they, there was a letter that arrived eyayiqhamuka kubani from Willie Brand that letter was sent to and burial and she was upset mangabithola leyo ncwadi leyo it was threatening ukuthi if you don't come to the bush to meet me i'm going to come and knock at your doorstep i reason eyenze ukuthi akwade u aunt burial mayethola le ncwadi iyiphi izathu could be akafuni ukubonakala with this person othi ngizoza lapho and well my session da lo say i'm threatening her because yen akafuni ukuthi lo muntu lona abonakala ongenze ukuthi umuntu azwana naye noma ane relationship naye this willy friend and then we climax okezia now decides to defy instruction kama wabo and then she invites the kelvy girls in to see the doll's house but u aunt beril maye babona she scolds kezia and we are backlash while she is scolding kezia she says she is a wicked disobedient little girl but we know ukuthi ke lapho sesine irony when she says she is wicked esho ukezia kezia is doing this out of innocence ngokuthi she is a child and ufuna abanye abantwana ukuthi beze bezobona but u aunt u aunt beril ke uthi she is wicked ngokwenza lokho and that is ironic because ngokwama actions esiwabonayo in the story enziwa u aunt beril she is the one who is wicked so okay, she chases the kelvis from the banal property because they are poor and their mother is a washerwoman and then good falling action lil is upset and embarrassed but elsie kelvi remembers only the lamp ulil after aunt beril abaqosha she was very upset despite their differences she and kezia both love the lamp which is a symbol of hope uma sikhuluma nge symbolism singakhuluma ngayo ukuthi the lamp is symbolic kanjani it symbolizes hope ukuthi ke there will be a better life for the kelvis there is hope ukuthi in future they will be treated as human beings not good baby shoot out as if they are chickens so there is hope that one day they will be treated with dignity and they will be given respect lapha yana in the community and also 
Ukezia, when she opens the gate and invites the Kelvis to come and see the doll's house. See, abona foot la poguti. That is symbolic. Kanjani, kuna symbolism kanjani. That gate opening and Amakel, the Kelvi is coming in and sharing the space with the panels. So they, so they are in the same courtyard. Okungaba is symbol. There is hope. Eskulumangayo la payana ELM. There will be equality. Gelinilanga. Lendo is social class. Is opela. And everyone will be seen as equal in the community. And. Masa sibugage ama themes gishi luguti it's very important to go to ngogwe story uma ngabe kunga shuwa nguguti more refer to the extract what is the theme uma kuru nyanje nge story si song ngabuga gama themes ashuga shuge ene besu ya pe guguti kule kule extract hini gizue numage ngogwe story nje as a whole iyip i theme every life and what is the theme a theme is the main idea or an underlining meaning of a literal work which may be stated directly or indirectly. But it's a recurring idea, a theme in the story. So now, we have a theme of social class and prejudice. Yo nanje ekamika kulu nge skati kufika the doll's house Si abona la kukuti kune social class Awubanda ba tiza ba ni doll's house And ama panels gupela and the doll's house Na wukuti other children in the community have never seen the doll's house before Eng e ulo le ashobo That is why they they feel wukuti Bona ba zinga nizi privilege wukuti ba nayo this doll's house And the Kelvis are largely ignored or avoided by the community because they are poor. Nendle laba tritanga, they are not treated with respect. They are not tr treated with dignity because they are poor. When the panels are given the doll's house, all the girls at school are invited to see it, except the Kelvis. Dogusho konuguti, baya baktuha asamu with social class. And the Kelvis are seen as inferior because their father is in prison. Their mother works as a washerwoman for some families. We also have a theme of hope, and Kezia represents that theme. There is hope for a better future. She's the only girl who is fascinated by the lamp in the doll's house, and then she invites the Kelvis to see the doll's house. She is unlike the rest of her family because she's not prejudiced against people like the Kelvis. Sibonaban, who is prejudiced against people like Kelvis who aren't Beryl, Iga Kulugaz Uyena, who is prejudiced against Abandu Abashlipegam. Perhaps she is too young to have learned Ugutike, we have Abandaba inferior and we have Abandaba superior. As Ugutike, Abandaba Ama Kelvis, they are inferior in society. Yena, she doesn't understand anything about inferiority and superiority. She sees them as equal to her. She talks kindly to the Kelvis and gives them the chance to see everything in the doll's house. There is hope. One day there will be equal. And there is hope that with more people who are not prejudiced like Kezia, the future will be different. A theme of poverty. In the story, they are eating out of paper and Yi names are galao. Their mother is a washerwoman, Umaga Elsie and Lil. Kuna theme of, of poverty. The mother works as a washerwoman and husband is in jail. The family must live off the money she earns washing clothes with Mrs. Kelvy. And while the wealthy children eat mutton sandwiches and cake at school, the Kelvys eat jam sandwiches, which are wrapped in newspaper. And children... But they mock them because they are poor. Even the teachers have a special smile for the Kelvis that is different from other children. And then we have a theme also of innocence and cruelty. So again, the doll's house focuses mostly on the interactions between young girls with one another. Bona, they are innocent. And Bona, in the Bayama classes, they are not aware of. He is everyone in the community is aware of Utike Unama classes are corner lapan. These girls simply represent society in which they are being raised, and their behavior reflects what their parents and elders have taught them. Utike, do not talk to the Kelvis. 
never talk to them. So when they represent that, and they're imitating parents who gossip about the lower class family. While they're watching the Kelvis eating out of the newspaper. And then Ukleba when Emmy whispers Ugu to get Lil Kelvy is going to be a servant when she grows up. And Ulil does not see a problem with herself being a servant because Umsebenzu Mawake Aga Wenzayo and Umsebenzi Aba Pilangao. So again, Aga Nankinga Nalo Kupat Ingani Lesa Zinyazi away because there is never going to be change even but they are going to be servants hope izinto so in the doll's house, but also kubalilegi ilega kulu uguti sikumbule imut ne tone uguti genges katige i tone ukezia and notice the lamp there was a hopeful tone sikabang in jelo uguti i the mood genges kati u u antiberi eba kosha la payana ya ibuge ginjani she was cold and unsympathetic and uncaring about Gosh and Abandana in Gananda Banab. And Ila Posi Bega Kwanafuti in the doll's house. So Kubega again with our next short story. And this one is titled Village People. It is set in rural Botswana village. Jongoba Itairo Isho, Village People, Skulmangabanda Bashalagupi. Emak enda weni ese makai. Ugutike yini le aba experience ayo abanda bashala enda weni is is guma urban abangai experience. So umanga besi boganje i characterization as nama characters amaningi. We only have the old woman and cousin Libena. Besa siba nya narrates. So gem the old woman is the one otigena she's hungry or shonji pamabantu anga sabuguti ulambile until as a collapse. And then we have the narrator who is a young woman who is helpful and compassionate, also or generous. Because Katanigas are the old lady water and food. Em invite her to her heart em empagela wood. So we have Libena he is an advanced man. He believes that women need to improve their minds in order to face the challenges in Africa, which is changing rapidly. She will know in the society. He is generous and he gives a geography book to the narrator so that she can learn about the world outside their country in Ibuzwana. So again, since this story, this story is divided into three sections. We have an opening essay, Sibe, the first story and the second story. So, and the first we highlight a food when we do a village people. Uguti, kuna le question, eno puma la paya na magbuz uguti, no ma eya gea puma magbuz uguti. Which one of these stories do you prefer? I mistake ige abantu ana ba inzai. Uguti they compare a story esi la paya na. For example, they will compare if fair quotes in village people. And um, which one of the stories would you prefer? The old woman with stories of Allah and the summer sun. So two as it will like Allah. We story as the sort of we in or we village people. So again, go na ma comments la pan wuti go ninginga ekona la pan in the village. Babies are dying of starvation and malnutrition, and people are so used to poverty that they regard it as normal. But again, so they wanna as a quiet second skin, and the narrator believes that people 
resist change, but they don't want any new intrusions. So they resist change or only allow change to occur very slowly. So the narrator says that these humble people are extremely warm and loving. Into ayenzo kutsibaka zupila is humanity. Ayenzo kutsibaka zupila sana njengomphakathi. And she believes that the gods and people elsewhere need to be reminded that such places and people exist. Where abantu khona behluphekile babies dying obune drought kunenkinga kunenkinga eziningi. So again after opening essay, SSJ Lugu together is starvation and malnutrition, babies are dying. Usasis Hage Gu story one, the old woman. And La Poge, there was this old woman who was weak and she was starving. She collapsed from this extreme hunger, Ainai. And the, in, the narrator instructs a small child to take the starving woman to her heart when the narrator prepares food for her. There are two poor to offer anything else. This old woman, Kofiga, irrelative, yake, izotike, iambonga, and imnigeza ini, imnigeza a pail of water to show gratitude for assisting the old woman. So they are too poor to offer anything else. Ugube babene mali, they would give money. Ugutisia bonga, bamu kwa kele, or utengi mpupi hako le, oesu nzisile while you cooked for our relative. But they don't have anything. Any abanga nigeza na yona. In kinga ya manzi is, ibonagala in kulu ngango kuba, umangabe wenze something and for someone else. Bazo nigeza a pail of water kuti bag bong. So they know kuti the narrator fetches water daily from the tap. She comments at the end that the gods and the rest of the world seem to have forgotten places such as this village. But the ordinary poor people here are kind, they are compassionate and generous with the little that they have. Story number two, which is the summer sun. The narrator is a young girl and the narrator and her family have come to their land to wait for the summer rains. The politician who goes to the mountain, and they believe that he is the one who has shaken God loose because every time it rains. So, when the rain comes, they can plow the land and sow their maize, millet, pumpkin, watermelon, seeds before returning to their village. The family survives on a goat because Batini it eats anything in Buzi. Yona is survival through this drought. Yes, cutters in Yilwan is in a cornuk survive. The goat survives and Yona never sees out because they can eat the goat. Bayans in Ishebongoba Yona is to get a corner a pill. And the narrator has a lot of time to think and read as she waits with her family. She tried to learn English from the geography book given to her by her cousin, Libina. And Libina has told the narrator about the importance of learning English. medium of instruction in English. subjects You need to understand it. You need to know English. in Africa and speaking different languages on understand the parts. When you speak English and you're able to speak English and understand it, you to communicate with those people. Times are changing and women need to improve themselves, not only in the story, but in life in Jege, Ogutsi is in Doziashind. So the narrator thinks deeply about many things, including in e climate change, e drought, food shortages, and improving herself. I fall pregnant. She does not want to fall pregnant like her sister did. Ngoba manje, uyabuka ukuthi uma ngabe seko esekwazi ukuthi afunde and understand ukuthi izinto zinzeka kanjani nangeke ukuthi avele athola umntwana knowing ukuthi ngiyakwazi kumsupport. So, okay, the love her family members have for each other makes their suffering bearable. No manje. The love a, a, a corner in the community makes the suffering bearable because bonke they are sharing what they have. 
And this title, Ian, Ye Village People, is an it explores the suffering of village people and the ways in which these poverty-stricken rural people practice a form of humanity where they care and support each other. So again, okay, our themes are called the theme of poverty. In the beginning, the opening is say babies are dying of malnutrition and starvation, and also um, the old woman faints because of uglamba. So okay, people are struggling and there is poverty. And also in poverty, because as this Ulingani, they cannot plow their crops, they won't have food. There is drought and there is no rain for crops to grow. Humanity, theme of humanity. Despite poverty, the village people are friendly. They are generous and Consider it towards one another. The narrator shows kindness to an old woman who collapsed by giving her food. And also in the family, they show humanity by sending a young woman with a pail of water for helping the old woman. And any item, item of hope, again villagers are still hopeful that the rain will come. Even the politician leads people up the hill to pray for Imi for rain. The narrator is convinced that reading and learning English will bring about change in her life as an African woman and this might assist her in escaping poverty. So, Remember, when you are writing your paper too, section C, I'm a short story, is atulagala ku section C. So, maufika ku section C, ogumela ugno tilapan uti, we have contextual questions. And, unigeziwege, the extract that you are supposed to read, which is usually about 20 lines, that you're supposed to read, as ogunza, as oksiza, to remember what the story is about. Any information, no ma, amanya, ama questions. Ama answers a corner as to get a corner we extract. So, the assessment of the contextual questions is based on your understanding of the literal meaning of the story. Ugutsi sikulumangani literally and also figuratively. You need to identify information that is clearly given in the story. Your ability to recognize information in the short story. For example, you may be asked to summarize key points, norma, or state the similarities or differences between two characters. For example, uji milapayana, geskatu mawake eboshwa, ugutushuke ganganani kuno babuaki. Your ability to provide information that may not be clearly stated in the text using what you already know about the story. Gubalegi lugutu zazi idori za koguti. The story am a character zoban and what is happening. Uguzuzo was we born extract guti. It's a tweet from which story. Besides, la papezul usugucheli uguti, you see the story is kishiu. So I was with some characters, a village people, wafage, we fair coat. So yes, I'm a characters ako. And your ability to make judgments about aspects of the story and make your own opinions based on information given in the short story. Do you sympathize with Mrs. Pamji when she's being arrested? Opinion yako, yes, you do sympathize with her because she was fighting for a greater good. And umangabuti no, no, because her husband warned her numerous times and she wouldn't listen to her husband. So, you know, you don't sympathize with someone who does not respect her husband. And also your ability to respond to the characters in the short story and how it is written on an emotional level. And this is called appreciation. For example, you may be asked how you think a certain character feels. Ngeskati ubabaga sem emngabelu kutashate no Eva who is blind when I feel like I'm how would you feel if you were Sam? Um, umzaluwa ko egna bela ugu tushate no mundo fi tushate nae. So iloko gokbalegile and all the best for your exam. This program is proudly brought to you by Go Digital SA Foundation, Itala Edu Platform and Pendugani Full Service High School. Siyanibonga ngokfunda naati. 
Sianimema ukuthi nintamele futi na kusasa. Ningazi chola lezi fundo e le tu liga Facebook, Eliti Go Digital SA Foundation, na gu YouTube, Eliti Go Digital SA Foundation. Ziato laga la nagukoze FM jalo ngulwe sine kusuge lango 9 kuya kutene psugu. Ningazi chola nangu WhatsApp kuinamba yetu eti 068 151 